Hi, welcome to another episode of Rinalda Kids. Now, for the last couple of months, we've been talking about Jesus's life, the people he met, the places he went, and some of the amazing things he did. This unit, we're focusing on when Jesus heals people. This week, we're talking about when Jesus healed 10 men. Now, these men had a condition called leprosy, which was a skin disease. It may not sound like a very big deal to us, but back then, it was a very big deal. There really wasn't a cure, and it wasn't just a skin rash. If you had it, you were considered very contagious. You would have to leave your home and even leave the city. You'd have to live outside. Nobody would get near you. So for him to heal these men was a very big deal. We're going to talk about what happened when he did. Let's get started. This week for our photo challenge, we asked you to send in pictures of you sleeping. Take a look. God created the world. He made everything good, and he told the first people to enjoy his gifts. God made people to worship him and to be thankful for all the good things he's given. But Adam and Eve weren't thankful. Instead, they doubted God and chose to disobey him by eating fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. As a result, every human being since that time has been born with a sinful heart. To save us from our sins, God the Father sent Jesus. Jesus grew up when the Roman Empire ruled over God's people. He was different from any person who has ever lived because Jesus was sinless. Today's story happened when Jesus was traveling with his disciples between Samaria and Galilee. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem when he entered a village. Ten men cried out to him, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. The men did not come close to Jesus because they had a skin disease called leprosy. Jesus saw them and said, Go and show yourselves to the priest. Jesus wanted the men to follow the law God had given to Moses. The law said, a person who had a skin disease had to go to a priest to be examined when the disease was gone. The priest and the person had to follow certain rules so the person could live a normal life among people again. As they went, the ten men were miraculously healed. One of the men, seeing that he was healed, went back to Jesus. He praised God and fell face down at Jesus' feet, thanking him over and over. This man was a Samaritan. Jesus asked the man, weren't 10 men cleansed? Where are the others? Only this man, a foreigner, had returned to give thanks and praise to God. Jesus told him, get up and go on your way. Your faith has saved you. Jesus healed the 10 men who cried out to him. The one who had faith was saved. When we trust in Jesus by faith, he heals us from something greater than a disease. He saves us from our sins. We can give him thanks and worship him for making us new. Let's review today's Bible story. Where were the men when Jesus met them? A, they were in the marketplace. B, they were outside the town. C, 
they were traveling on an empty road, or D, they were eating at Chick-fil-A? The answer is B, they were outside the town. What did Jesus tell the men to do? A, Jesus told them to show themselves to the priest. B, Jesus told them to go home. C, Jesus told them to take a nap. Or D, Jesus told them to sing a song. The answer is A, Jesus told them to show themselves to the priest. How many men came back to give thanks? A, all of them. B, three. C, zero. Or D, one. The answer is D, one. Our Bible story today is about how Jesus healed 10 men and one was saved. This reminds me of our key passage about how Jesus heals us from our sins. Let's read it together. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Isaiah 53, verses 4 through 5. Jesus was wounded so that we can be healed. He wants us to trust him, and when we do, he saves us from our sins. So we can give him thanks and truly worship him for making us new. Hey, friends. Let's practice our key passage together and talk about what it means. Our passage is from Isaiah 53, verses 4 through 5. Let's practice it together. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Isn't that a good scripture? Let's practice it one more time. Surely he took up our pain, and he bore our suffering. That's what he did for us on the cross. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken and afflicted. But he was pierced. For our transgressions, he was pierced on the cross, nailed to the cross for our sin. He was crushed, this means crushed, for our iniquities, our bad choices. He took the punishment. And the punishment that brought us peace, this means peace, was on him. He took the punishment and we get the gift of peace. And by his wounds, we are healed. We're talking in our Bible stories about the many healing miracles that Jesus did while he was here on this earth. And he still does healing miracles for us. He heals us in our bodies and he also heals us in our spirits and in our souls because he took the punishment for our sin. Somebody had to pay that price and we didn't have to pay that price. Jesus did it for us. The story today helps us answer an important question. Can you read the big picture question together with me? Why did God create people? There are three big reasons God made us. God created people to worship him, love him, and show his glory. This week, we focused on how God made us to worship him. God made us to praise him and to give him thanks. For today's activity, all you need is paper, a writing utensil of some kind, and some decoration supplies. 
we will be making Get Well Soon cards. Feel free to pause it here if you need to know how to spell that. Here are some ideas of what to put inside of it. You could try some colorful hearts. You could draw some beautiful flowers with lots of colors, pinks and blues and greens. You could draw the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. What about a sun? That might give people some brightness in their day. You could even draw some people. Look at that little puppy. And all those family members are holding hands. They look great. You might even want to write something like Jesus loves you on the inside of your card. Today we learned about how Jesus healed the 10 men. And we made some Get Well Student cards to give away to some friends who might not be feeling well. Those Get Well Soon cards will help lift their spirits. Remember, you can do things for people who aren't feeling well, but we can definitely, definitely be praying for people who aren't feeling well. We love you, and we'll see you soon. Our family challenge winners this week are Benjamin Nesterick and Silas and Addison Irving. This week's family challenge is selfies. If you're like my kids, I know you take your parents' camera and take pictures, so send them in. Thank you that you had mercy on us by sending your son, Jesus. Thank you that you not only have power to heal our diseases, but when we trust in you by faith, you heal our sinful hearts and make us completely new. Thank you for creating us to praise and worship you. In Jesus' name, amen.